watching a local youth soccer game and a 16 year old soccer player is about to shoot at net when a defender pulls him backwards. Immediately the player cries out in pain and is rolling on the ground. By the time they walk off you can see he's holding his arms slightly away from the side of his shoulder and it's lost its rounded appearance. You immediately offer your assistance suspecting what type of injury. This injury is a shoulder dislocation injury and some of the keys that you see in this is that there's a loss of the roundedness of the deltoid which is typical of a dislocated shoulder. Not a step deformity which you would expect with an AC separation or it's a lateral um, change as opposed to what you would see with a sternoclavicular dislocation. The surgical neck fracture of the humerus um, uh, there'd be more support and they would not hold it away from their body and the same thing is true with uh, shoulder separation they're going to hold that arm close to their body as opposed to a dislocation of the shoulder which they'll actually hold a little bit further away. What happens with shoulder instability is that the ligaments in the shoulder, the structures deep down inside, that's underneath all the muscles, hold the shoulder joint together. When these ligaments are torn and they can tear from trauma or other injuries, they then render the joint unstable and the shoulder will pop out. It will become dislocated or become unstable. This is a right shoulder model that you're looking at. And in this model, the ligaments in the very front are torn. Because of that, I'm able to dislocate the shoulder and pop it out of the joint. We refer to this in the medical profession as shoulder instability or shoulder dislocation.